Uh, I'm Captain Samuel Raz Larson, originally from Davenport, Iowa. I'm flying the F-22 Raptor. I had a hometown air show, the Quad City Air Show. I uh, lived just a few miles from that airport. Saw the jets flying over the house, started going to the air show. Uh, had the opportunity to meet the pilots, uh, both military and civilian, and uh, was just hooked. Uh, basically from when I had my first conscious thought, I wanted to fly. Uh, started going to more air shows all around the Midwest. Um, as a photographer actually for a, an air show magazine called Royal Air Show News. Uh, so I actually got the opportunity to, to fly with a few performers as well at a young age. So I got to fly with the, uh, the Aeroshell aerobatic team, uh, which was awesome. Uh, flew with the U.S. Army Golden Knights. Got an opportunity to fly in uh, the Blue Angel C-130, as well as uh, a photo flight with uh, a P-51 and P-40 uh, up in Granite Falls, Minnesota. I graduated the, uh, the Air Force Academy in uh, 2015. Uh, got to be a member of the jump team while I was there. Uh, so got to, to skydive as the extracurricular uh, while in college. I met Captain Larson Raz. Uh, he was also on the, on the skydiving team with me, which was awesome. We, uh, we were on the team together uh, at the academy and uh, have several jumps together. And she graduated a year ahead, year ahead of me, but I was thrilled when I found out that she was going to be doing this as well. I went to uh, pilot training after the academy at Shepard Air Force Base, Texas, and then I uh, was selected to fly the F-22 out of there. So started at uh, Tyndall Air Force Base for the B course, did three years in Alaska with the 525 Fighter Squadron, and then moved to the 27th Fighter Squadron at Langley. And while I was at Langley uh, is when I got hired for this job. The, uh, the power of the jet surprises everyone. So obviously your first flight is solo. Uh, flying with an instructor pilot <clears throat> and just uh, how aggressively you have to get the nose in the vertical in order to not accelerate even in mill power not even use an afterburner uh, it's eye-opening jumping from a t-38 into uh, the cockpit of an f-22 and experiencing that same thing with my high-speed passes so dedication high-speed pass uh, the jet will actually accelerate in idle uh, so have to, to play uh, the power pulls if you will to make sure that I'm, I'm keeping it well below the mock and well below the sound barrier. Down low at this altitude, high speed, you can pull nine and a half G's in the Raptor and it'll still accelerate even at nine and a half G uh, at a low altitude environment. And it's really cool to see us take two jets from a combat unit uh, that we just borrow off the line. We don't know anything about the jet, their, that jet's history, and they figure out any issues it has, they fix it and they make it happen. And it's cool to see that in action on the road. Yeah, I really felt like I was taught at a young age the importance of warbirds, and that was from going to air shows and talking to the pilots who were dedicating their time, their money, and their efforts into uh, restoring those warbirds. And so I've loved watching them my whole life, and just, yeah, getting to be up close to them uh, is really a thrill. ZZ in the call sign stands for Kadena, uh, which is Kadena Air Base, Japan. Uh, so, Normally as a young fighter pilot you get named on your first deployment or trip with a fighter squadron. And so my first trip was out to Kadena. Uh, the lowercase a is at Kadena and then the R stands for many, many things. And that's, uh, that's where I'll leave that. Yep.